guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to 25 days of videos today is day 10 and we are going to be doing a super exciting video because we are going to be doing a fall slash winter coat guide what coats to get what styles are there what do i even wear how do i even style it i got you covered girl i went through my entire coat closet pulled out pieces to share with you guys some of my staple items i'll let you know what stores i like to shop affordable and stylish pieces we'll try them on hopefully to help you give you some inspo on the different styles that they're out there and if there's something that catches your eye well then that's a starting point for you to know what kind of coats to be able to get so if you would like to see the coats, the styles, where to get them, well then, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so I have them all listed down. I wanted to separate them so that I can give you an in-depth description of all of the different types of coats that I have in my closet that I love and that I've seen around. So we're gonna separate them by short, meaning they end at the waistline or are cropped, and then we have our longer coats. And with each and every one of them, I'll give you guys an example. I'll prop it in here and show you what it looks like. So starting off with short coats, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting some sort of puffer coat. These are so warm and also so trendy, so stylish, and they're so easy to wear. You can throw them on with jeans, over sweats, over anything. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're definitely a staple, I would say, for the winter time, specifically for its practicality and actually keeping you warm. That's something that I've learned over the years in my coats. I'm like, yes, I want something cute, but give me the warmth. I want to be warm. Obviously, of course, you can always layer underneath, but I want a coat that's gonna keep me warm. So puffers, for the most part, will always, always give you that feature. Moving on into the next short category that we're gonna be discussing is a leather jacket. Leather jackets always give that like edgy New York vibe and it always, always, always is trending. Folks are always wearing it, specifically in the fall time, just because it's not as warm as other coats can be for the winter time, but there are some mixes. For example, the faux leather jacket that I'm wearing here, which is from Misguided, is a mix of a puffer and a leather. And this gives you maximum warmth. When I tell you the warmth level that this gives, like this combo of a puffer and leather, I'm like, what kind of magic is happening here? So definitely check out any leather jacket. You can do it oversized so that that way you can layer underneath to make sure that you are warm throughout the winter and fall time. But this is such a classic, elegant, timeless piece that you should have in your closet to just be able to honestly make any winter look, look cool. Another category within the short jackets or coats that we are going to talk about is the aviator style this style looks so cool and it is like a faux leather or different other materials that they mix and also put in either like faux fur or shearling so this item that i have right here i actually got from h&m this season so definitely be sure to check that out to see if they still have it in stock or similar items i think these coats are just statement pieces right like you just wear that and who cares what else you're wearing, right? Everyone's just looking at your coat. And I just absolutely love this one so much. I also love that the inside is also warm, which is always a plus. The con that I have when it comes to short jackets is that I do not want to feel the wind in my stomach. So I am just like, please give me maximum warmth. So I'm very selective with the short jackets that I wear. And this one is no exception. It literally will keep you warm. You don't feel a thing going through your stomach. So I absolutely love that. And the last style that I talk about in the short before we go into my favorite which is a long coat is going to be vest now these are not technically a jacket or a coat but they can function as one if you layer properly underneath so I found this really cool faux leather one that I've been using actually quite a lot this season now vests were never really something that I was very like intrigued by I'm just like if I'm cold I'm just gonna go grab a jacket or a coat like why would I grab a vest but they are that additional accessory or outerwear to add to just really bring that coolness and also forget about just looking cool maximum warmth to the center of your body to your neck to your chest to your stomach so looking for pieces that are neutral that have textures that work and elevate your wardrobe are key 
Now moving into long coats, I am 5'9", so I am on the taller side, and I just find that long coats for me specifically are so, so, so flattering. And honestly, I feel like it is flattering for many different people, but I know that some might feel like it drowns them, and others it can be a little short, so I'm speaking on my preference. I love long coats. So that can be that the coats sit in the middle of the calf area. Honestly, for me, the longer the better because I want warmth all around. Now, the number one thing that I always look for in the majority of my long jackets is some sort of belt or waist defining feature. Because it is long, it can kind of just like swallow you whole if it's not meant to be oversized or if it has no structure. So I always love to look for belted items. And you'll see that across some of the coats that I'll be talking about and showcasing here on the longer side, but that is one detail that I love to be able to have. I find that it brings such a chic and elevated touch to the coat and just gives you some definition uh, so you don't look like you're just swimming in fabric. So the first style that we'll be talking about is a quilted long coat. Now these look so cool. Honestly, they give me like sleeping bag vibes, but you know what? We are here for it. And I think a fun way to just be able to make this stand out and look nice and cool is just going with a big, bold color. So here I have a royal blue coat that I actually saw in Nasty Gal this season and I was intrigued by the color. Honestly, the color royal blue has been like capturing my attention a ton this season and I love it. I feel like it goes so well with my olive and yellow skin tone. So I love how flattering that looks, but I have that style of coat and it is so so it just looks cool it looks cool to me so you can dress it down you can put some jeans on and some sneakers or you can even put some sweats it is just the perfect running errands but also keep me warm coat now a classic style and dare I say the style that just makes you look and feel rich is a faux fur coat now this one is actually a recent purchase that I made from the brand naked and I love it so much and I think what I love the most about this one specifically is that it is high neck so it'll cover the neck area so I don't have to wear a scarf or anything like that it covers it on its own it feels luxe it feels rich I am enjoying it and I find that this is such a beautiful piece to honestly be able to just elevate any look so you can wear it with jeans and some heels or you can wear it with a dress underneath you can wear it with literally anything under and just throwing that on makes such a statement it is like I am here I am warm I am rich like that is just the vibe that it gives and I love it so much especially this like deep chocolate color oh I am just honestly absolutely in love now another faux fur jacket that I want to show you is actually one that I picked up from Nasty Gal and this style, like the other one says rich, but this one says like chic rich, you know, like I just love this style and it is their fur trim belted faux leather coat. So it's a combination of faux fur and leather and it is like it has the fur around the neck and in the hands. Oh my goodness, this just screams classic, elevated, chic. Like for me, I'm just like, oh, and then it's in the chocolate color I just find that the chocolate color just like adds to the richness so this one I would say this one is a little bit more challenging I think for me to dress it up just because it is so dressy but I feel like honestly you can style it with the basics with a turtleneck underneath or a nice blouse underneath jeans and some heels and then this honestly on its own just sticks out so much i also love to just look for inspo to see how the brands style the items that they are selling so we'll see here they're like styling it with some jeans and sweaters and so many different options they also have it in a ton of different colors they have this rich burgundy they have it in a cream i had to stop myself because i'm like i cannot get all of them i just need one so i stuck with the chocolate color and ugh, it is just honestly so gorgeous and dare I say a coat that every girl needs in their closet to feel just like you know just 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 that like there's not even any words for it it's just like I'm here now another coat style that I also have been really enjoying we've been seeing it all over street style on the runway is the structured 
oversized jacket, meaning that it's not just like completely oversized with no structure or like definition anywhere. For the most part, the definition is usually on the shoulder pad. So it has like some angle, some structure for it. And I have been loving them so much. I have quite a few here that I'll show you that I actually picked up from the brand, like I mentioned, Naked. One of my new favorite brands to buy coats from. And I'll be sure to just like list where I get my coats from and all of that down below. And I'll chat with you guys on that in a bit but wow 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 they are a little bit more expensive than traditional coats from fast fashion brands but i love that because they also have sustainable options which is something that i am trying to be more cautious of so i love exploring new brands that have similar styles because honestly that's what i love i just find that fast fashion brands they just capture the styles it's just obviously coming continuously and then there's a lot of waste that comes out of that so i am being more cautious with looking for sustainable brands so honestly comment down below if there's sustainable brands that you love that have good styles because that is something that i want to be more cautious of and i've been enjoying this naked brand for that they have jeans they have coats they have a lot of elevated basics shall i say that looks so beautiful that resemble beautiful and great style and you get good quality as well well too so i picked up a few of their structured oversized jackets and they have these like beautiful colors they have like a stone color they have prints they have a brown they just have so many different options that i absolutely love and they go so well with literally anything i've worn them with jeans an oversized white t-shirt and an oversized white button down and any type of shoe and it instantly elevates your look so definitely a classic to be able to have in your closet to elevate any look but also to be warm moving into the next style i would say anything patterned but also be particular with the pattern that you are picking to make sure that first of all it works well with other things in your closet because then if you pick a coat that the pattern matches with absolutely nothing you're less likely to wear it and learn from me i picked up quite a few coats throughout my journey and literally never wore them because it did not go with anything else in my closet so having a pattern like a checkered print or something more traditional or something that works well with others keeping them neutral is a great option so i have one right on here that is really pretty and also i loved once again the detail of the belt to be able to just add some definition to it so definitely worth it to check out for a long coat that has a pattern that can work well with other things in your closet now on the opposite side of patterns, you also wanna just have your basic colors. So a basic black long coat or a basic camel coat. Now these basic long coats are gonna be those coats that you literally just reach and grab for when you don't know what coat to wear. So I have here a black one that I picked up from Nasty Gal and literally it's been one of those coats that when I don't know which coat to pick, I just go for my classic black long coat. So definitely something worth having in your closet for days where you have have no idea which coat to pick or if you have a more busier outfit moving on to the next coat style we have teddy coats and teddy coats were everywhere for the last few winter seasons and dare I say I don't think I see them going anywhere because they are just so so comfortable now this one that I have here I think is going on almost four years old I brought it from mango literally almost three or four years ago and it is a staple every single winter I always pull it out when first of all when I know that it's gonna be a cold day and I want guarantee warmth I always go for this coat and the color is just so beautiful so rich and it works so well with all the other things that I have in my closet. So I would highly recommend getting a teddy coat for maximum warmth. Now the last coat that you'll see a ton is trench coats. Now these I would say are typically worn more in the fall time when the weather is not as cold as the winter time. And honestly, I've had quite a challenge with finding a trench coat that I like. So I purchased multiples throughout the years and it just, I don't like that they're not structured. I don't know, I just haven't found one that I love until I saw a Zara puffer trench. Now clearly I'm very into these like mixing of two styles but this is what it looks like and I loved it so much. First of all, I love that it actually is functional and warm and I loved the color and I also liked that it was thick. Trench coats for the most part, depending on where you get it and the quality of it, can run very light. So I would say it's more of like also a fall or spring jacket, but this one I can actually see myself wearing in the winter time because it actually is warm. So I really, really, really enjoyed this one and this one I got from Zara, which I loved. 
So that is all the styles that I'll be talking about in this video. I hope that you found it super helpful. As promised, I am gonna be mentioning the brands that I love to be able to go to to find affordable co-options, H&M and Zara, which are just classics. You can always go in online or in store to check to see what coats they have for each season they typically for the most part kind of bring out similar styles just like little changes here and there two of my favorite for getting like stylish but also really really durable and nice pieces is nasty gal and misguided misguided us doesn't work anymore i think they went bankrupt or something but if you go on their uk site it is still available so you can check their styles out i've had coats from them for over two or three years and they are still in perfectly good condition so I absolutely love them. I would also recommend mango coats. They are a little pricier than all the others but they really do last throughout the years which I think is so key. Uniqlo also has amazing coats that actually keep you warm as well as a lot of heat tech things. So definitely a stable brand for making sure that you get layering pieces as well as outerwear that is beneficial and so 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 good for the winter time. And lastly a new brand that I've discovered naked not too long ago literally I have like six of their coats and I will definitely continue to purchase their jackets because I've had such a good experience with them. The quality is wonderful and they just wear so beautifully on with everything else and above all, they actually keep you warm. Well friends, that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you found this winter fall coat guide helpful in your search for coats that you might need in your closet. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for another video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.